good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Regardless of what time you're watching this video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we're that much closer to our goal of 100,000 subscribers. It's really nice. The goal, 100,000 subscribers by May 1st, 2023. Thank you so much for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Thursday, December 15th, 2022. And right now we are in Long Beach. We're heading into Lido Beach, which is right here. And there's the, the Lido Beach Synagogue right there. And we're going to a new homeowner, new client, that was referred to me by the Boshi's instructor. Right. Apparently his buddy, um, another plumber, uh, has an electrical problem with his heating system and the electrician can't figure out. No one can figure it out. And the only thing I can figure out is what am I still doing in New York with all this traffic? I should be in South Carolina or Florida. Oh, by the way, stick around. Keep watching in this video because I have a I have some great news to announce on uh, what the the uh, the Florida licensure um, journey that I'm on. Oh man, it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. And don't get me wrong, there's still traffic in Florida. And it's worse traffic, because these old people in Florida, they have no idea how to drive. Yeah. <laughs> they have no idea how to drive. At least you're stuck in traffic. At least I could drive the Porsche 992 Turbo S 911 Cabriolet on beautiful, nice roads. I don't have to worry about potholes, because I don't have to worry about salt. You know, it, the, the, the roads were salted in the, in the winter because of the ice and because of the snow. Nope gonna be pretty epic so stick around because i'm gonna release tell you some more info on that during this service call all right guys make sure you smash that thumbs up button and let's get going right, peter let me give you a summary of what's going on let me give you a summary as well so apparently uh the boshi's instructor he, you know he's a plumbing contractor he was out here because the top floor wasn't heating and the first floor wasn't heating, so he changed the zone valve, and now nothing is working. So that's all I know. We got entry into the house, so let's go see what's going on. boiler on this floor. I doubt it because this is considered the basement. So let's go upstairs. There you go. Let's see. This is one of the elevated houses. Okay, so it's... Oh. Well, it's not a suck ass. It's a Mitsubishi. It's a Mitsubishi. Suck ass is Friedrich. Nowhere in the manual does it say how to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, except a little fine print on the front cover. <laughs> that makes it a suck. Peter, we're getting close. You know when you see a red switch? Oh, I'm not Steve Lab. I don't work on oil. Uh oh. Oh, man. Let's see. But it's a Burnham. It's a Burnham. By U.S. Boiler. Burler. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Oh, my God. This actually would make a great thumbnail. You can put your head in it while you go like, what the All right. fuck? How intimidating. No, not you, Peter. But how intimidating is this right now? It looks fagazed. This is a fagazy. Rube Goldberg. There's a lot going on here. Uh, but the boiler's off, right? Let's take off the front cover. Let's see if it's an electronic ignition or it's a standing pilot first. Because you're saying that is no heat, mm -hmm. right? And we have electronic ignition, right? You can tell that by that, that boiler control board. All right, Peter, let's do it real quick. What is this called? That's our own Yep, what is this little guy called right there? Perfect. What is this thing without a drip light called? And it has some water dripping out of it. Expansion tank. Expansion tank may be an issue, maybe a pressure issue, making sure it is 
30 PSI. Yes, sir, we Bob. Okay, down here, what is this little guy called right there? It's a Rolex. Excellent. What is this contraption? Yes, well. Uh, what size is piping going in and out of it? That's a uh, half inch. In and out, and the pilot? Pilot TV. Excellent. What is this thing called? That's our control board. Excellent. Yeah. What is this guy called? That's our transformer. Excellent. Okay. And we have a Burnham Series 2 P206 from 9, 2012. 164,000 BTUs input. We have zone valves here. We have, uh, I could be a mole. You, Want to start precision? <laughs> all right, all the all the Jewish washers will understand what a mole is. That's the guy who cuts the cuts the the the, the smackle off. Okay, so here's our mess of wiring. We have no heat. Let's just see what kind of resist what kind of resistance we have. Okay, you notice that moved freely. Did it do anything? Oh, it did something. I heard a click. Yeah, okay. There's another zone valve. I'm just moving the levers really? under each. Under, oh, let's try this one again. Because that one didn't feel like I did a little click there. Let's try that again. Oh. Hold on. One more time, a little bit faster this time. There you I go. Know. And the last one, which is marked main floor... We'll do that one next. Perfect. Okay. So I what I just did, I hit each end switch manually, yep. right? And it activated the boiler. It did something with the boiler, all right? So let's quickly review Ladies this. And now, gentlemen, make no mistake about it. I keep it real, uncut, raw, and unedited. This is... An effing disaster. This is what I call a ship show. You know, keeping it real. Or well, your sister's watching, right? Be careful. But for a very long time in my plumbing and HVAC career, I was intimidated by this, right? So I understand what you're going through right now. Some of you will be like, Mike, I got this as a piece of cake. Great. This is not the video for you. Maybe keep it moving. Watch another video. Maybe uh, check out my playlist on how to go, you know, do that. With your cat. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Mike G. <laughs> I know you like the pussy cats. Anyway, let's quickly review this. I'm going to show you a diagram, which is, if you Google Honeywell four-wire zone valve wiring diagram, my freaking video shows up. My picture shows up. So let me show you how it's done. All right. Easy peasy. First things first. You're going to notice on each zone valve, we'll start with this one right here, since it's right here. And why is there a zone valve on this zone which has its one circulator is beyond me it makes no sense this does not need a zone valve but it has one oh, yeah. nonetheless it's there what it is we're gonna have out of these honeywell zone valves we're gonna have two wires let me take the cover off for you mm -hmm. oh it is another example but eh, f that okay forget about all this good stuff in here and forget about that this is now not two yellows and two reds this is a yellow and an orange and two reds <laughs> Why they do that, I don't know. But maybe because one is common, one is 24 volts. But let's get to that in a minute. At the end of the day, all I want you to do is to know that these two red wires right here, and I'm going to do something that you guys would be like, yo, Mike, what are you doing? Watch what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to separate all this stuff, right? Because I know how to put it back together. But check this out, right? Let's find the end switch going back to the boiler. Hold that for a second, Peter. Thank you very much. And I'll tell you what that is in a second. All right, that's one. Where's the other? Let's find these. There's another one right there. Big up. Good. Okay. Forget about all this other non non nonsense right here. Watch what happens. Hear that? Yep. Wait for a second. Let's see what that's going to do. I got these together. The boiler's doing something. And you can hear it. Uh, we have some activity. Hear something. Okay, there's STA 18. 18 is waiting for vent damper to open. Look, Peter. Right, which is what that number says. The vent damper is opening. Yep. Once that opens, right, it could say, keep saying that, waiting for, eight, waiting for damper to open, if the uh, spill switch is disengaged or tripped. Yes. Now we have, a, now we have spark. It's six. Right? Five. 
As six is flame proving. Am I right? Uh, yep. A uh, spark. Seven is flame proving. Eight is running. running. And now we are running. We are running. However, is that circulator running? The circulator is running, but my zone valves, my electronic valves are all closed. What I just did, ladies and gentlemen, by doing that, all I, well, now it's going to, whatever. By touching these two wires, I closed the switch. Just like the switch right here, this light switch, right? Mm -hmm. The two wires, the end switch is off. Now they're back on. All these red wires, these two, these two, and these two, all these red wires mm -hmm. are glorified switches, okay. electronic switches. They're basically like, consider like a thermostat. When R, H, and W close, the wires are together, like the wires here together. That's all that is. We'll talk about the thermostat, 24 volts, and the yellow wires next, but I want you to understand that, let's say I take these two to this two, right? And that zone valve is getting power, mm -hmm. and the end switch, let me show you what the end switch is in here, so I can show you. Let me get a small little flat screwdriver. Sure. Because it's very important, it's very important that you understand this concept right here. If you look inside here, matter of fact, let me use this one, okay? Let's look inside here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got the big black thing in my mouth, so excuse my interruption. I got it. Hey? You see this little thing right here? Yeah. See that? When power is applied to the motor, this little 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 lever moves and it pushes against pushes against that little black button right there. Okay. That little black button, when that little black button is pushed in, the circuit is closed. Right? So 24 volts goes to power. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Forget about the thermostat right now. If I put 24 volts to this motor, mm -hmm. matter of fact, let's do this one right here. Let me get needle nose. Sure. We gotta clean all this mess up anyway. Okay. okay. This is what I'm gonna do. Like this. Like this. Because I like to work in organized chaos. <laughs> yeah, and this is not organized chaos. This is just chaos. Okay, this is just chaos. And we also have a zone relay up there. A lot of shit going on in here, right? Too much. <sighs> okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. That's out of the way. This is holy cow. Yeah, holy cow, right? Is right. <laughs> like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? All right? There's a the thermostat. <laughs> I, can, I, I can never leave the wires like this because I feel like right? some, yeah. something has yeah, to go Yeah, because on. this is disgusting, right? This is really disgusting. And I hope that BOCES instructor right now is going to show this to his class, right? And this is going to be some more mess, which is in there. Look at this. It's really a disaster. No, this is my end switch and my 24 volts. I think, right? Yeah, I was working with that. Let's look at this. You can't tell me that that was not an organized mess. Let's just cut there. Let's cut there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, you're like, Mikey Pipes, I can't believe you just did that. You're freaking insane. I am not insane. I am a certifiable lunatic, and I want you to start smashing that thumbs up button. Like, I want to smash this needle nose into the camera lens right now. Smash that thumbs up button, and if you want any Mikey Pipes, oh, they're gone. Uh -oh. oh, the Happy Holidays <laughs> Mikey Pipes uh, stickers. Email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. And please, consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Okay. And remember, guys, if you are if you're an HVAC contractor, if you're a carpenter, if you're in the trades, right, and you're the boss or maybe you're a manager and your company does not have a website, I want you to check out. Do it now, please. It's really, really great. I started using them when I first started about 15, 16 years ago. FootbridgeMedia.com. They will not only develop a website for you, but they also do the internet marketing for you on a monthly basis for only $250 a month. It's really a no-brainer. A website does not have to cost you ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars or five thousand dollars to put together and then pay thousand dollars a month. Yes, I'm I'm there because mm -hmm. I, I need because I have I just need that exposure. Right? But if you're a new contractor starting out, you don't have a website, check out footbridgemedia.com. Link in the description box down below. Tell them Mikey Pipe sent you. Alright, back to where we were. Now I have a good feeling that we have 24 volts somewhere on these wires. We do know, coming from the boiler, right? Mm -hmm. um, we do know that the red and the white are our end switch. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's follow this wire, right, which is right here, to here, to this d disaster down here. Oh, what the fuck is this? What is this? I'm gonna guess that this was there. It just fell off. Maybe. Look at this. What kind of disaster is this? Like, <laughs> what the? It's crazy. That says damper. It really does say damper on it. That says damper. That says no, that says damper. This is what? Is there a switch here? Yeah. Before I start playing with stuff, what is this? That is secondary. Oh, this is our 24 volts, which they just, we need to clean this up. I found this on the web. Okay. Let's get some Wagos. Mm -hmm. Let's clean this up. And guys, I'm going to keep the camera rolling only because you guys sometimes run into shit like this and now you know what, I'm, what I go through. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, I don't know why the green is being used here, but... We have the red and the white. Okay, let's just do that that way. And we shouldn't be taking from this transformer, but it is. We need a three-wire way go. You have them right there? Yeah. Two? Uh, that's three. Okay. First thing we're going to do is clean up this shit that's here, right? This is coming from the transformer, right? This one wire. Mm -hmm. So let's put one there. Okay. And let's take the other, which goes to this harness right there okay and let's do the other ones for right now too let's get the 24 volts out of the way and before i start playing with anything else i'm going to turn the power back on and make sure that this works okay okay here's the other way go there's one conductor that's from the transformer another conductor to the board so now all i did was these are glorified wire nuts mm -hmm. i just went from the transformer which is getting line voltage the secondary goes into the board so now if i turn the switch on that's on right that is on yes good okay now uh, okay now now i need to bring this set of wires 24 volts now why they use the green here, I don't know. Let's just put that out of the way for right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have general industry standard in our trades. The yellow and the blue are 24 volts normally. And the blue is normally a common, right? So let's take off that right there. All right, that's going to go up here. Let's take a couple Wagos. And I'm just going to put a... Come on, get it's out still of so hard to get. <laughs> I don't know if I need five, but I'm going to put one five there. Mm -hmm. Just so I don't want to short out the transformer if these two touch each other. Nope, wrong one. The, oh, you know what? That's fine, too. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. These are our end switches, remember? Mm -hmm. And let's get... Get out of there. Fly away? It just flew away. Where'd it go? Where? <laughs> the fuck? I don't even know. It just disappeared. Okay. Another way go there, and another way go here. Okay. Now in here, let's take one of them. All right. Let's make this blue. Put that right there, and let's take the yellow, and put that right there. So all I did by doing that, I just extended 24 volts to right here. Okay. So there's 24 volts here. Makes sense. Facts. Okay. My light is on. And if I were to touch the red and the white together, what's going to happen? The boiler will turn on. Correct. Now, move that out of the way a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're going to come up here. Let me bring this up here with me. Let's continue to educate. Because the only way... The only way we are going to make the trades great again is by working together to promote professionalism, 
promote quality, dependable, reliable service. I don't care if you're cutting wood, you're laying masonry, you're an electrician, changing light bulbs, you're, you're even fixing elevators. It doesn't matter. When I say trades, I mean all us blue collar workers together. The only way we're going to make the trades great again is by instilling the same qualities, good qualities that we have and pass it on to the newer, the younger generations. Okay. Now, as I was saying before, right, we have these two yellow wires here, right, which need power to turn on a motor, mm -hmm. right? It's like, this, this is a light, a, a light bulb. Mm -hmm. I want this light bulb to, to, to light up. I'm gonna give it 24 volts. Yeah, Watch what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take one to the power, mm -hmm. right, which is that yellow wire. I'm gonna take another to the blue, right? And listen very carefully what's gonna happen. This is live, uncut, unedited. Shut up, Siri. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take right there and look. You hear it? You see it? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can hear it. Is it moving? Did it move? I heard it moving. I Did you see it? The angle I was at now. Yes, you see? Right there. That oh. little lever. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. Right? And if I remove power from this, let's do that right now. I'll get out one handedly. Oh, yeah. See? Look at that. Now, hold that. Let's do something else now. Just to show how simple this is, right? We are going to take this right here, this end switch. Okay, and we're gonna put the end switch to the other end switches right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one, there's the other, right? Now, what's gonna happen when we apply power? That that motor is gonna power. The motor's gonna power. And, and then the close little... that little lever. Mm -hmm. Hear it? And then it'll... All right. it's, gonna, it's gonna take a few seconds because this is not a mechanical relay, it's electric, but Wait for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boom. Look at the boiler. Let's wait for that. Oh, yeah. STA1. Mm -hmm. We hear a circulator running. Stand by. Stand by. Give us some time. It's coming. 17. Self go. test. 18. Waiting for damper. Okay. Damper's opening. Damper's open. Four is pre purge. Six is spark. Seven flame. And eight is right. Excellent. Okay. So I just showed you the theory on how a zone valve works, how to give it power, and how to turn a boiler on. In the next in the next part of this video, we're gonna talk about how to wire thermostats which are here, one, two, three. We have three zone valves here. We have this relay, which I'm assuming is probably for this, but <coughs> excuse me, I never like to assume anything, but we're gonna talk about how to wire these up and figure this out. And to give you a little hint, I got an email yesterday, yesterday evening, from the Department of License and Regulation in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> excellent news, they told me I am now eligible to take the business law and class one or class A air conditioning contract or trade knowledge exam. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So awesome. stick around, keep watching. I got a little bit more information on that that I want to share with you. So stick around, smash that thumbs up button, and please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Let's get going. Do. We're going to just not confuse ourselves, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and because this radiant has its own. Uh, it's separate. It has its own relay there. I don't want to get confused. Right? Mm -hmm. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take all of our end switches and connect them together. So let's take one group of red wires and let's, let's get rid of the yellows for now. All right? Get those out of the way. So let's take one, red, a red from each, each side. So there's one red. Mm -hmm. 
And let's get another two open. All right, here's another red. Okay. And then we have one more red right there. And we'll try to make this kind of neat in the process. So there's, there's one set of reds. So red and white are and switch you said well right now they are yes okay. your mileage may vary because you, know, you may do a little different may use different colors but we're using red and white because red is normally r r h for heat and white is normally w for closing the circuit on a thermostat for example okay so now it looks like looks like shit but if i want to we can get a zip tie mm -hmm. and we could put all these together and out of the way because that is actually let's give ourselves a little more room here let's take back this green which is not being used right now right and let's pull that out a little bit and clean this up just so we have a little more working room here okay and let's wrap that wire that extra wire nice and neat around it see Mm -hmm. just like that all right we don't need to do it all and cut off the rest but just like that the other day daniel was wrapping a wire around and i was like it looks like you're doing like a retard and that's what i said to him but it was true <laughs> all right so now i want to get a zip tie mm -hmm. and i want to just secure that right there because we're done with one of the things we're going to sidetrack a little bit one of the things that we didn't that we need to figure out because we have we're using wi-fi thermostats so i need a third wire mm -hmm. we need to figure out which one of these two is common all right okay. common is neutral all right common is not r or 24 volts common is strictly common it is that neutral going back to the boiler so we're going to test this very easy. I'm going to take off that blue wire that I put into the, from the transformer going to the board. And I got my probe in there. And let's touch the ground. I get nothing there, right? Nothing's there, all right? So let's put back the blue wire. And I may have, listen, we have a 50-50 chance of getting this right because it's one or the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I'm going to take out the yellow wire. I'm going to put our milli, uh, multimeter lead back in there. Close that. Let's touch the ground wire again. And boom. So I had it right the first time. The yellow wire, right, is 24 volts. The blue is common. So no voltage means common. Correct. Okay. So now that that's figured out, I now know here, oh, where is it? Here, that our blue not only is, you know, the other side of that 24 volts, but it's also common. Yes. So if I need to feed common back to a thermostat, let's say, this blue wire needs to be a common thermostat. I can take the blue wire and put it there. Okay. Okay, what's beeping? Just a stupid meter. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, we need to check for continuity, right? Mm -hmm. We have multiple thermostat wires here. We went to the top floor and we made, we touched touch the wires together. So, let's see. I believe it was this one, right? There you go. So, the red and the green have continuity through it. Mm -hmm. So I know that these two are my R and my uh, W at the thermostat for the top floor thermostat, which is going to this zone valve right here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. I just Googled Honeywell four wire zone valve diagram, and there is my video. There's my diagram. Sweet. Okay? Let's zoom in on that. Okay? Now, See those end switches? Mm -hmm. We don't need to worry about that right now because we already did that, right? Yeah. So we have a thermostat, a motor, and a transformer. Mm -hmm. Let's think very simply right now, right? We have 24 volts and a common. So we have an R and a C. An R needs to go to each thermostat. A common needs to go to each motor and the other thermostat wire goes to the other side of the motor. Okay. <laughs> I totally lost it, didn't I? Kind of. I know. <clears throat> it's basically, you know, instead of getting, going right from point A to point B, you're going from point A. That's right. Instead of going from directly from point A to point C, we're going from point, you know, like we just did here. 
We just went directly You're just making from point A along to point B or point C here, right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're stopping at A, A and a half, A 1.5. You're making a stop. We're making a stop along the way, right? We're just picking up the thermostat and the thermostat is acting as the switch. That's okay. all that is. I saw the look on your face, right? Here's power coming in mm-hmm. right here, right? Yep. Instead of going right here, right? We want to send this to the switch, to the, to the thermostat because the thermostat is going to turn on or off. And if, and if the thermostat is closed, power will flow through the thermostat. And then forget about being a thermostat there now. This is now power coming back, coming, coming here, right? And then it goes to the switch, the, 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 um, the motor. The motor gets powered. And the other side of this goes to common. Okay. Good? Not really, but you'll see how he's doing it. I'm, I'm catching up. Okay. We're going to use this as a reference. While we were not filming... We identified this set of wire, and it's going to be the, we'll use the blue. All right, we've identified this set of wires to be our main, and we've made a label, main floor, okay? This set of wires to be our lower level, and this to be our upper level. We'll worry about the rating zone later. I want to focus on getting these three wired to the boiler, that way we can have heat going on in this house because it's 32 degrees outside and it's 54 inside the it's house. It's cold. It's cold. We're going to utilize my video thumbnail right there as the example. Okay. Here is power coming in, mm-hmm. right? Think about it as L1 and ground or neutral. Okay. Okay. We know that the blue is our common, right? Mm-hmm. Now, let's do... Let's work at one thermostat at a time, but all of them are going to be worked together. Okay. We need to take one red wire from each. So we're going to, well, first we're going to turn off the power. Okay. Okay. We're going to take a red wire, right? So if you look, right, there's the thermostat, there's the thermostat. Let's say there's 20 thermostats here, right? One wire from each thermostat goes to 24, 24 volts. volts. Okay. So we're going to take one wire and make this upper. We're going to get that red wire in there, because the red one, we're, we're not hacks here. The wires go where they belong. Another red from another thermostat. Hopefully it reaches. We'll go there. Okay, let's move those out of the way. And another red goes to here. Okay. okay. All, it's, a little, it's, it's going to get a little confusing a little bit, but all the red wires are now done. RH is done. Okay. Now, if we notice, the other thermostat wire, mm-hmm. right, skips over that wire, skips over that wire, skips over that wire, and goes to a motor. Okay, so we need okay. a thermostat. But before we do that, let's take the other wire, right? Mm-hmm. And we're going to put all our motors there, okay? Which is a yellow wire, right, which is our neutral right mm-hmm. yellow wire yellow wire yellow wire okay we're gonna make this simple for you okay but you notice our yellow wires and the blue that's all of our neutral okay right so i need more we need more space to connect our common right mm-hmm. we're gonna make a little jumper because i'm done with the yellow wires here so let's add a little jumper there. And that's going to be our future five wire. Needle nose right there. Perfect. Let's put that right there. Now let's just clip the end of this off. Could have used the Nipix, but I didn't. We have a five wire right here. We're going to put this right there. It would be nice if I can, like, tie them together or crazy glue them together. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, but let's leave it off to the side. So now I got my yellow. The only thing I have left now is three yellow wires and three white wires. Okay. Right? Now, we know this upper level, let's get a two wire way go. We know this upper level has a yellow wire. Let's put a way go on that right now. And we know that this, is this wire? Lower, Lower, upper. And this white wire goes here. Okay. So, for the upper, only thing we have left is our is our neutral, our common, right? So let's get the done right now. 
Watch this. Take that neutral. Let's shove it right in there. Okay, just like that. Mm -hmm. Now, this is lower. This is lower. This is main. Mm -hmm. Main, right? We have a white wire. Let's connect that to the white wire. To the white wire there. Okay. Now the blue wire. I took that up to the common bar that we made right there. Now what do we have left? We have lower level. This is not even marked, but we know it's lower level, right? Mm -hmm. So let's take another way though. Right there, right there. And that green wire, that green wire is, an, is a, uh, a common now, right? So let's get that common wire right in, no, not there. Right there. In the jumper one. Where is it? This one right there. Right there. Okay. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? The three thermostats are done. They're done. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully not. <laughs> Illumination? Yes, we have one standby. Okay. Now, granted, okay, this still looks like a mess. But now look, you have a label for the next guy. This marks upper, this is lower, this is main, and it's kind of somewhat organized, an organized chaos. It's still chaos, and don't get me wrong, this is still will confuse the shit out of anyone. Seriously, and excuse my language. I'm sorry to your nine-year-old daughter who's watching me fix some pipes. Sorry. Okay. Let's go to the thermostat for the lower level. Okay. Now, by the way, let's check our resistance. Main floor is jumped out, right? We left main floor jumped out? Yes. Yes, guess what? There's no resistance on the main floor zone valve. Main floor zone valve is open because it's getting power. Because R, R, H, and W are jumped out. The thermostat is on. Not on the wall, but thermostat is calling. Okay. But upper, right? Lower. Resistance. Are you confused? This is this is on right now? On the other and what's the boiler doing? What was the temperature, isn't it? Is the boiler temperature? Oh, it's still on standby. BT, boiler temperature, 180. But, feel this pipe. Feel that pipe, real real fast, quick. She's hot. She's hot, that's right. So, She's hotter than that Latina Chica you're gonna get on the conduit where it meets the, uh, the Van Wick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take our little screwdriver and this. Let's go to the lower level thermostat first. Let's right. go. Let's get R where it belongs. That's gonna go in there. Okay, there's R. I'm gonna, okay, and then the white, so the little printed off C's. R, C, R, Y, common, W. So the W, which is the white wire, I'm gonna go right there. We'll tighten that up. Okay, wiggle it a little bit. She's good and tight. Good and tight. Good and tight. Good and tight. And then the common, it's going right there. Okay. Where's that thermostat? There it is right here. So if I did this correctly, when I push this against the wall, it should go bzzz. It's not gonna go bzzz. It's only 24 volts, but hopefully I'm below transform. Oh. <laughs> Okay, set clock. What time we got here? We got here... A little before 8, yeah. right? So Look at that. 9 o'clock? <laughs> 9 a.m. Thursday. Look, it's no, it knows exactly what it's doing. Sweet. Look at that. Date and time Wi-Fi. And now, let's go back to the boiler, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Our lower level, which is this one right here. Mm -hmm. We got no resistance. So we're calling. We're calling. So all we have to do is put our thermostat on for our main floor. We gotta put thermostat up, we gotta figure, figure out thermostat for the upper floor, and we gotta figure out the radiant. Okay. Let's main go. Floor, R, common, W. All right. Let's give that a second. Give that a second. Come on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Wow, no bueno. <laughs> no bueno aquí. I should have came on already. Let's double check. We have R. 
Let's make sure common is secure. R C R Y common W. Hmm. All right, doesn't work. We're only mere humans. Ain't that right? That's true. We make mistakes. The I had the green wire <laughs> as common when it's actually the blue wire. Remember, I even made a reference to it downstairs. Like, I'm not gonna make the green wire common when it really should be blue the whole time. Yeah. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. We'll cut back this wire right there. And now let's take the blue, which becomes our common, mm -hmm. and put that where it belongs. So let's do this again, live on Mikey Pipes TV. There's a red wire, which goes on to R, okay. Good. All right, the blue is our common, which is gonna go right there, All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and the white is our W, and that's gonna go right there. Okay, now watch what happens when we put the thermostat against the wall. Wait for it. Honeywell Residio Home, take three. Five, four, three, two, one, boom. Yeah. Elementary, my dear Watson. All right. Well, I know it still looks like a complete mess, but it looks a lot better than before. It's now labeled for the next guy, should the next guy not be me or someone within my company. Even someone within my company, at least now everything's labeled. That says upper, that says main, that says lower, and it's somewhat more organized. Um, we are disconnecting the end switch for the radiant so it doesn't turn on the, the boiler at all. It doesn't interfere with the boiler at all because I don't want to burn out that circlet that's down there. It was never done right to begin with and it's just a hodgepodge of a mess. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, forget about enjoying it. I hope you got something educational out of it. hope you learned out of it. I want to give a big shout out to the guys at Barry Tech. Keep up the great work. Learn something new every day. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe. Thank you.